simply shine, simply my shine Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing an updated super moisturizing wash day routine using Amika products. A luxury hair care brand dedicated to all hair types and textures with the most potent clean ingredients that aids in healthy hair growth. And no, this video is not sponsored. So currently my hair is in a straight state, which is the easiest for me when it comes to styling. But after a week or so, I'm literally over it and I need my curls back. The perks of having natural hair is that it's so versatile. Anywho, I'm gonna start off by saturating my hair to remove any buildup or oils that I've been using over the course of days. So I am using their signature shampoo and they have a variety of different lines with this brand, but I'm using this one and this shampoo contains a lot of vitamins and antioxidants. And not only that, it was super hydrating. As you can see, I was able to put it through my whole entire hair. And usually when I wash my hair, I don't put it through my ends because sometimes shampoos are stripping, but this was so moisturizing and it has a very light scent almost like it's unscented like a baby wash it was really nice it did what it had to do in the lather <laughs> you only need a little bit i overdid it as you can see but a little goes a long way and i was able to really get a nice cleanse i only needed to wash my hair once honestly because it did just that good of a job at cleansing my scalp but my hair overall just felt super moisturizing and i'm always so on the fence when i'm washing my hair because sometimes you won't get the same effect when you rinse it out, you know what I mean? And when I rinsed it out, it literally, almost felt like I was conditioning my hair and I can't make this up. Y'all know I'm gonna give you the goods, y'all know I'm gonna give you the tea. It's super hydrating and I felt like my scalp was clean. The smell picked up a little more like once I started massaging it, I could smell it a little bit more, but that's never what I really worry about when I'm using products. I go for products that are really moisturizing because I have very dry hair and my hair gets dry very quickly. I'm not gonna lie to you, this shampoo is it. First thing I always do after I rinse out my shampoo is fill my hair. That then lets me know if I chose the right product. If my hair feels the least bit of dry, then I know that's not the right choice for me, but I will say I'm very impressed. If you're looking for a super hydrating shampoo, I highly recommend this one and it is worth every penny because this line is very pricey. But in my opinion, it's worth it. Following up with the conditioner because you know you can't wash without conditioning. So I'm using a signature conditioner as well. And it has a really thick, creamy consistency, which my hair absolutely loves. If it's watery, I don't want it. Super thick, nice smell. It gives floral flowers. A bit stronger than the shampoo. Very, very nice smell. I felt that it went on smooth and silky. Just what I need because you know, even after a good shampoo and my hair still felt hydrated, you need that extra oomph of moisture in your hair. Don't mind me, I was jamming. My playlist was crazy. Let me know if y'all need my playlist. But anyway, I like to always apply conditioner and I just use water as well because I find that once I apply the conditioner, sometimes my hair gets dry quickly. So a little water helps to really activate it. And that's what really helps me to finger detangle. So the key is when you are conditioning your hair, don't be afraid to let some water touch that hair as you're doing it. It makes the process easy peasy. Y'all see me, I'm not using any tools. That's one thing I don't really do when I wash my hair because I find that I lose more hair when I'm pulling and tugging. It's a tedious process, but it works best for me and it helps me to retain length. So I'm just really taking my time to like feel it and see like how my hair, you know, is responding to it. I just really like the way my hair felt. Like my strands just felt super coated, moisturized. You know, you can just tell when you use that one product, you know, by the way your hair is looking and even the way your hair is feeling, my hair just felt like cotton. So I just like to give a nice little massage and then we're gonna rinse it out. So after rinsing out the conditioner, I'm gonna follow up with the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. The name is so dope, okay? The smell is still the same and it has like a very, very, very thick consistency, like really thick, which I know I love. As you can see, it's not moving, okay? This is bomb, okay? It contains a lot of antioxidants and nutrients. And even though it looks super thick, it's very lightweight. And what I loved is that it went right in 
to my hair. It did not sit on top of my hair. That's what always lets me know when a product is going to work or my hair responds well to it when the product does not just sit on top of my hair. Like I can actually work it in. It looks like it's already blended into my strands. I am a bit heavy handed, so it looks like, you know, I'm putting a lot, which I am because when the weather starts to change and the temperature starts to get cooler, that's when I really incorporate my deep treatments and my hair masks and stuff like that because believe it or not, the colder months really dry your hair out. So I really take time to make sure that I'm adding this step into my wash day. And what I do is I just take small sections, make sure I'm taking my time from root to tip and working it in. So once I feel like I have applied it generously all over my head, I'm just going back in to make sure I didn't skip a step because my hair just feels so good and I just like to just, I love when my hair feels super soft. Usually I put a plastic cap on and sit underneath some heat because heat will really open up your cuticles and really allow the product to get into your scalp and like really work. I feel like my hair is super moisturized already and as long as you leave it in for a good 10 minutes, you should be good. And so what I like to do is, Wet my hair a little bit and then I detangle with a detangling brush. You can use whatever brush you like, but this tangle teaser that I've been using for about three years, it's on an end. It's on its way out. It does such a great job at detangling my hair and it does not pull my hair. Whenever you're using any type of tool or detangling brush, you want to make sure that the teeth are nice and wide. If you have very curly hair, tight hair, tight curls, even when you're detangling with a comb, make sure it's a wide tooth comb. And as you can see, when you're using water with conditioner, it's gonna glide right through without any tangles, without pulling and snagging unnecessary hair. This is my favorite part. After rinsing out a good mask, that feel is like, wow. I usually rinse my hair out with like cool, warm water, not too, too cold, but that helps to really like close your cuticles now. And that's gonna hold all that moisture in. This is what my hair looks like without any product. It's so, soft and you can see the elasticity my hair like bounces right back it doesn't look or feel dry like if you could just touch it this is all the hair that i lost and it's been about almost three weeks i think i said before i wash my hair because my hair was straight but again if you moisturize your hair if you detangle your hair properly if you get cuts and trims like you should you're not gonna see a lot of shed hair so now it's time for styling. I'm going to be using their Moisture and Shine Cream. This is a really nice cream. At first I was like, I don't know how I feel about it because it was very lightweight. And then when I applied it to my hair, it almost felt like there was nothing on my hair, but my hair was still feeling super moisturized. I don't know, it just felt like my hair wasn't getting enough product. Only because I guess I didn't see it. It literally, my hair sucked it up in a good way though. Not like, you know, it wasn't working, but I'm just not used to products literally like disappearing where you don't see any type of evidence of products on your hair. Low porosity hair is a trip, okay? So I was super impressed. It smells really nice, just like the shampoo and the conditioner, and it really worked through. I don't know if I felt too confident with just using this by itself. So for me, I like to use the LCO method whenever I'm styling my hair, whether that be my, keeping my hair in a ponytail, a bun, or a wash and go. For today, I felt like I wanted to do a wash and go. So anytime I apply some type of cream or leave-in conditioner that's lightweight like this, I'm gonna follow up with some type of gel. I'm gonna use something that's a little bit heavier on top of it so that I know I'm gonna get longevity, I'm gonna get defined curls, and I'm gonna get a longer lasting style. So I'm using the Extreme Blue. Usually I use the clear one, but they didn't have it. And I honestly like the blue gel better because the hold is A1, and for two, it doesn't turn white a lot when I blend it with or mix it with other products. I used to be an eco styler lover, but using a lot of products with the eco styling gel caused my hair to flake up quicker, which made me have to wash my hair more frequently. But as you can see, it's working really good with my hair as after applying the gel. Usually I just take really small sections. I finger coil sometimes. I do the shingling method. I do the praying method, but I always take my time with this step, especially if you're going for a bomb wash and go. It's definitely a tedious process, but I can almost guarantee by having small sections and using the LCO or LOC method with the proper styling products, it's always gonna be a successful wash and go. The most problematic area for me is like the back middle part. I find that it's so dry, so I'm just gonna go in and make sure that I put some more gel to flatten it out. 
and then that's pretty much it for my wash and go i don't like to use any heat unless i'm rushing for me i find that i get the most successful wash and goes when i don't put any heat on my hair you have to let it just ride the wave let it air dry and so what i like to do is pull my hair forward get a very stretchy scrunchy and then put my hair in either a pineapple or a sloppy bun and that's it i let my hair dry for a few hours most times it's going to take pretty much the whole day honestly but before i do that i'm just gonna go in and i forgot this step my bad y'all i like to use an oil of course the lco liquid cream and oil so the oil is going to really seal that moisture all the way in and i'm using the, the amica styling primer oil which is honestly for like when you blow dry your hair but baby this smell is everything so i really like when my hair is done for the day like when i'm done styling it it needs to smell like everything i need to make people say what are you wearing what is in your hair so yeah that's the last step so i'll see you guys once my hair is nice and dry so i can show you how it looks so these are my final results after a full day i did speed up the process by diffusing my hair some all in all my hair feels super soft light and it's very very hydrated and again i go for products that are going to give me hydration i don't really care about anything else because my hair struggles with you know being dry and stuff like that and especially when the weather changes and stuff you definitely want to incorporate in products that are very hydrated all in all my favorite was the mask because it's very very hydrating and again a shampoo that's going to help you detangle i mean come on it doesn't get any better than that. But yeah, again, if you're interested, I'll link all the products down below. If you enjoyed these type of videos, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next upload. Simply share, simply share. Oh, oh, oh.